Good day everyone and welcome in phonetics and phonology class. So today is uh, introductions and also the first material of uh, phonetic and phonology. Well, actually, there are two sub-disciplines in linguistics which deal with sound. It calls uh, phonetics and phonology. What is exactly um, phonetics and phonology itself? So we start from phonetics. So phonetics here describe and analyze range of sound. And also we will talk about speech organs and muscles to produce the sounds itself. But the phonology is a sound of various English accent and the sound here combine and pattern together. So we can conclude that phonology is wider than a phonetics. When you listen a word, you will find some phonetical symbols that you read in one word. So in a whole semester, we will learn a phonetic symbol we use or we pronounce or we produce in one word. Alright, so phonology is affected by some factors. Those are geographical, accent, ancestor, and social marker. For example, people from other countries such as Italia, French, will have different pronunciations in English with people from Japan, Indonesia, or maybe other countries. And different pronunciations is also depend on the accent. For example, we have British accent, we have American or Australian. And the third one which is affected uh, phonology is Ancestor. Because language is arbitrary, so our Ancestor also affect uh, the phonology the development of the phonology itself and the last one is social marker which mean here is community okay talking about phonetics so it is connecting with the international phonetic alphabet or we call it ipa so each sound we produce in one word will have the phonetic symbol so the international phonetic alphabet here helps us to produce a good or correct articulations of uh, phonetic uh, symbol and also it helps us to produce a correct pronunciations in uh, English. And now look at this example. We call it I rhymes because when we see those words, um, we think that those words is quite similar in pronunciations. We have fluff, through, calf, and do. Okay, now we discuss phoneme and allophone. This is the small part of uh, phonology or pronunciations. Start from the phoneme is a small unit of sound. For example, you have one word, love. You will have three phonemes, l, a and v love but different in allophone it is a different sound of one phoneme so for example if you have love all it could be have a different sound for the phoneme all maybe later in the next slide you will see a clear example the differences between phoneme and allophone we have three kinds of allophone we have individual allophone we have territorial allophone and we have positional allophone when people have a speech disorder to pronounce p correctly they have difficulties to pronounce that we call it individual allophone and when people in some part of area or country commonly pronounce p with p we call it territorial allophone and 
If people pronounce l with er and they have difficulties to pronounce that, we call it positional allophone. And here the example and also differences between allophone and phoneme. Start from the first word, tall. We have t, a, and l. So we have three phonemes here. And the second one, call. We also have three phonemes, k, a, and l. Between tall and call, we can differentiate the first phoneme clearly. It's t and k. So it's totally different. And now in the other side, we have pin and spin. In the first one, pin, you have three phonemes. We have p, e, and n as a nasal. In spin, you have four phonemes. S, p, e, and n as a nasal. But here, they have different allophone. The first word, pin, we use p, p, pin. But the second word, spin, we use p, spin. So we can conclude that although the phoneme is similar, sometimes we have allophone. We have different sound of the phoneme itself. Well, I think that's it for today for the introductions of phonetics and phonology. So I hope you can differentiate between phoneme and allophone. And don't forget to check um, your exercise in description box below and send me by email and see you for the next discussion.